Hey guys, this is Akhilesh from DataSense. Today we are going to learn how to create waterfall chart in Excel 2013 or earlier versions. It shows you the journey from one point to another point and who were the positive or negative contributors in that journey. Like here, we are showing the company cash flow and here opening number was 500. Okay, you can consider let's say 500,000. Then January was 200 outflow, Feb 350 cash in and then again greens are representing your net cash inflow was there red means cash outflow was there and then we are also having a intermediate stage of half year finally you are closing with 1210 at the December end and different months are showing different contributions positively and negatively if you want to practice during the video you can find the link to download the file in the description. So to create this chart, you need to have a starting position. What was your starting cash? Then what was your ending cash? And these are the months. So for each month, you are either having a net inflow or outflow. Okay. So negative means net outflow was there. Positive means net inflow was there. So first you need to have four columns in between. And here I will create few columns so first one is start and end okay and here cash inflow then cash outflow and there is one more column required here which you can call it as a base now first is starting and ending now starting is this number so that's easy and ending is this number that is also easy so start and end will have everything empty other than this cash in now cash in means which months gave you net cash inflow only identify the positive numbers from this list first line for these three items i will just keep it empty okay same goes for ending I can write a formula max between 0 and this number. So purpose is to find the positive numbers only. So when I drag it till down, you can see whenever it's positive, it is coming. Otherwise it is showing 0. Similarly here cash out means I want to only identify the negative numbers. So for cash out min 0 comma this cell. So my purpose is to only identify the negative values, but I want it in a positive sign. So 200 and I will drag it down till the second last line. So here you can see whenever it's positive, it is showing me zero. Whenever it's negative, it is showing me that number in positive form. Now base. Now there's a formula for base, which is always same base you just need to remember that base is nothing but this plus cash in plus any starting position if it was and minus any cash out in your current line so base of previous line plus cash in of previous line plus starting or ending position of previous line minus cash out of current line when you press enter this is the number which is coming and we will drag it till the second last line okay now once you have these four columns you can forget this column this column is not required now okay so i'm just keeping it in red and to create the chart you need to take all these five columns including the headers and these four calculated columns go to insert bar chart and we will always go for stacked bar chart okay and i will modify it a little bit so first is i can change my title to so monthly cash flow chart then these are the legends so you can keep this legend maybe at the top so i will go there legend and i will keep it at the top so that's fine with me next is this legend is not very important for me 
so i will just delete this okay this legend is also not important so i will just delete it so my cash in and cash out are getting highlighted after that after that what you need to do is you can take this blue one which is representing this column and you can go to format and say no fill so this is having no color so that's your waterfall let us do some additional formatting so here you can add data labels okay but every data label is coming so what we will do we will remove the data label for that base so i will select that line and delete after that you can right click go to format data series and here you can reduce the gap to maybe 10 20 percent we, we don't want to show this unnecessary zero you can select this range and go for comma formatting and press control one we don't want any decimals go to customs and here in the formatting wherever my value is zero currently it is showing hyphen but i will remove that hyphen also so zero is there but it is not shown now okay so that's my waterfall chart now i will modify the colors also so for base i will go for a maybe gray color for negative contributors i will go for red color for positive contributors we'll go for green color and that's our waterfall chart if you want to insert a subtotal in between like i want to have half year so here after june you can insert one line and in that you can mention the title of let's say half year and here in the start and ending position just match it with this base so you can see a base has come up so from opening which means jan to june end from june end to closing so you can see subtotals also in between and then you can overlap this in this scenario hope you found it useful please share it with your friends and colleagues especially from sales and finance background and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel